and uh, so I bought a jewel. Uh, the jewel packs lasted me about two hours a piece, which I was like, oh shit. And then, so the math on that would be like uh, $10 a day habit on a jewel. So I was very happy to be vaping. But what I saw is like, okay, I'm not the only one that's going to be like, this shit is ridiculously expensive to vape the jewel, right? And, uh, and I had met I met somebody uh, the same day I bought it that was like, hey, you got one of those? He's like, yeah, they only last me a day each pod. He's like, so I stopped using them. And he's like smoking cigarettes, talking to me. So, you know, using it, trying it out. It's very, it's a very cool device. It's interesting the way it like, you can do like a rave mode when you vape it. And if you move it, it like flickers colorful lights and shit. Like a, it's all hidden. Right. You didn't hear, you don't hear about that on the news. And uh, it's got a cool tap feature. So you tap it and it gives you the battery life. Right. But besides that, there's nothing innovative to it except a 60 milligram Nick hit. And that 60 milligram nicotine, Nick salt hit is like whoosh. Like you're like, whoa, that is real. And then uh, I picked up a bottle of 30 milligram, 35 milligram, and I've been vaping that. And that's just on the line of like giving me a head rush type of thing. So I think we could see like a 30 milligram Nick salt become a big standard. And I know Jules uh, lowering their nicotine on a light version they're going to offer. That's going to be uh, 30 milligrams too. So in your nicotine mixing down the road, I think 30 milligram nick salt may become a real popular level. I'm burned out on pods, man. Like I fuck with some pod recipes, recipes for a client, and now I just don't want to touch them anymore. Like I get their convenience for people, but I, mixing for them is like so brain dead and boring. Yeah, I agree. It really felt like uh, muting my love for fl flavoring and mixing and stuff during the month and a half that I was testing. I was like, God, this shit's so simple and dumb. Like you you only get like one tenth of the flavor that you can get on like an RDA or whatever. You can't do anything like complex, right? Because it just gets lost in translation. Like it just doesn't come through because of that overall loss. Like it's just, a, they're terrible, they're inferior flavor delivery devices overall. I mean, they're good if you want to just want to quick nick rush and you don't want to smoke or whatever. I'm all, I'm all about that. But mixing for them is pretty, pretty boring. I think yeah. we're pod shaming here and I think they deserve it. So they do. <laughs> Dude, Jewel has like half the entire vaping market. So they're going to, they're going to get everybody in the market, like into the market. Cause it's so, it's so much like a cigarette. You can walk out of 7-Eleven, it's charged and you're vaping. And I love that about it, right? So it's so it's so innovative that you can like accidentally become a vapor, right? Well, the other part of it is that you're gonna hit that money. You know, the same thing we ran into when we were vape shop people when we were is like this costs too much money. Well, that's gonna bring a whole wave of people from the jewel market. So I like it because it's it's gonna it's a real easy way to convert cigarette smokers and get them vaping and bring them down the road to you know what we're doing. I have, I have, I have, I have.